Also get this great little, you know, serving fork Love that. as well, the carving fork, Love that. the stand, and then you even get that little butcher's board Bamboo thing. cutting board. Dang. Isn't that fantastic? Dang. I love you it. You came to play, Mark Came Gill. to play, and this <laughs> is, uh, I guess we're going to dedicate this whole show to Alicia, are we? I think so. Well, she wants that fresh bread. <laughs> well, here, Alicia, here's what you need to do then. If you get this knife home, I need you to run, don't walk to that bread section because yeah. cutting bread right out of the gate is one of the coolest things this knife does. If you got it just for that, I I mean, you're ahead of the game. Bread like this that normally you have to break, or if you try and put a knife through it, it destroys that crust, goes right through. And then, of course, yeah. fresh bread, which is what Alicia is all about, oh, so, just like this. So, Mark, just to play devil's advocate, sure. so if I do a challah, like a soft bread, mm -hmm. if I do a sourdough, like makes a harder no bread, difference it at makes all. no difference whatsoever. Absolutely not. And in okay. fact, you want to talk about control. This is what we're talking about. So, Alicia, I want you to watch this real close. This isn't your ordinary electric knife. This is Cuisinart. Oh, this wow. is all the control and all the power you could ever hope for. And here's something that's even better. When we designed oh, this, no kidding. we designed these blades with you in mind. So, perfect cuts, easy, and look, the, the crumbs even know better not to jump uh, off. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, by the way, this is for this show. It's on FlexPay of $24.99. Maria loves this together. I love Mark. You Fantastic. guys know that. Colin, I've missed you. I'm sorry I've been on Facebook for a couple days. I've been cooking. Uh, actually, Julie it's Truster off. and I were talking about you and giving you props. Uh, <laughs> honestly, Maria has Mark's knives. They're great. Love and the, it. And the thing is, Mark, you do have great knives, but I do. I've got some dexterity issues. I'm, I'm never going to be a Mark Gill, but <laughs> doggone it, I like to carve me well, some this meat. this requires no knife skills at all. If you can None. push that button. In fact, let me take you on a little tour of this knife so you really understand it. The power button's on the back, but if you'll notice, if I push it, nothing happens. So that's, that's on a purpose. safety switch, Exactly. Right? You okay. need to make sure that that slides to unlock and then there's all the power you need. Now those blades, once they start running, if you notice the, uh, the actual blade on them, moves fast enough that oh, those wow. two blades turn into one. And that's why they're able to crack those crusts and do those amazing jobs. Now, when you're done with this, yeah. the blade is dishwasher safe. There's right. a release on either end where you can pop them out, pull them apart, and clean them. And then when you're done, they slide right into place. And now's a good time to remind you that with Easter coming up, oh. Dad didn't want to carve that holiday turkey no. because he wanted to carve holiday turkey. Well, it's He wanted to do it because it was a power tool to play with. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, this is this is carving season. If you, I mean, if you could say such a thing. I mean, whether exactly. it's your holiday ham. You know, the one thing for me, Mark, and you know, two quick questions, uh, mm -hmm. and I hope I don't put you on the spot. No. Because uh, you do sell great sharpeners. Can I still yes. sharpen these blades? These do not require any sharpening at all. Oh, wow. So yeah, no that's, sharpening. That's, that's one of the beauties wow. of, a, of an electric knife. So I'm going to go ahead smoke. and I'm just going to kind of set this here because I do want to show you something with the skin on oh. this turkey. <laughs> Huh? Save the bread. <laughs> hey, when pigs fly, it will rain bread here at <laughs> now, HSN. Watch this. Normally, a turkey skin is going to crack, Shannon. Sure. Right? It just falls <gasps> right through it. Look at that! So when we're talking about beautiful cuts and a tool that a foodie is going to love, wait till you see some of the demonstrations that are coming up next. But the fact that you get the carving fork, the cutting board, the whole the stand, shebang. the whole thing with this out of this and. <laughs> more five-star reviews yeah. on an electric knife People than I've it. ever seen. I, I've never seen it, one quite like it. By the way, it is for this show. Real quickly, yeah, Ginny, I'd love to make uh, French uh, toast out of the hala, <laughs> But no, hala, we love the knife. <laughs> We're all hala for, you know, for Mark. Hey, uh, in the house. But anyway, <laughs> it's not tearing at the meat. It's not tearing at the skin. So we spend a lot of money for our ingredients. Mm -hmm. And produce especially is expensive. Right. Whether it's a fresh pineapple or butternut squash or what have you, you don't want to destroy, destroy the integrity of the skin or the juice inside. Exactly. So even, you were doing kind of the unexpected for me. Mm -hmm. I expected meat. I did not right. expect to see a pineapple. Everybody expects bread. Everybody sure. expects meat. That's because the average electric knife is going to run at about 70 to 90 RPM. They're 70 to 90 watts. Guys, let me show you a couple of differences with what Cuisinart's done. This is a normal blade on an electric knife. Kind of stubby, kind of short, kind of whatever, kind of flimsy. And that's why you only see bread and some meats with this. Well, this is what I want you to see. And here's the difference. Our blade is shaped more like a chef's knife. And this is a 130 watt motor. What does that mean to yeah. you? That means that some of these cuts, oh, some of these incredible things that you see on wow. food channels and food networks, you're gonna be able to do at home because that power is nonstop. So when you wanna create the most oh. memorable brunch bowls, Go ahead and do that with your pineapple. Isn't Holy that cool? Holy cow. And now, cow. here's a tip from me to you. Oh, on the watch this. This is a really good tip. I love this. Yeah, <laughs> This is the best this. way in the world to cut cherry tomatoes, but sometimes you end up having to, uh, you, you know, use a uh, knife and saw back and forth, and of course your hands get in the way when you do that. So yeah. one plate on top of the other, no sawing, no back and forth. And uh, by the way, when I'm done with this, wait till you see what happens with that avocado and that cheese. So guys, watch this. Oh, Mark, that's a good tip. Here is your best 
easiest and funnest way to cut a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes in half. There's my tip from uh, me to you this evening. And you want to talk about... And they uh, stay sharp. There's no, no sharpening. No sharpening hey, required. Hey, by the way, Rick, can I double check? Do we really only have a thousand of these? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. There are fewer than a thousand. I'll bet. So shoot, I should have I should have brought my tablet out here. I'd, I'd be ordering this right now. Oh, you are not going right through an avocado. Avocados are the <gasps> it food now, and now you don't have to do that thing where you whack it with a knife and then go around the world and you know wait, maybe wait, get wait, your wait, hand wait, out. Wait, wait. So even through the pit? <laughs> even through the pit. But here's what's more impressive. Wow. It's one thing to do that I through am the pit. I'm impressed by that. It's another entirely different thing to take the softest mozzarella and create cuts like this. If you've ever tried to cut this cheese before, you know that th there's all kinds of ridges and ripples and evidence that a knife has gone through it. Well, have a look at this, Shannon. There's no evidence there at all. Those are the prettiest cuts in the world. And if you follow me here just to my left, we are really gonna put this to the test, all right? This is the kind of meal that ends up costing three times what the knife costs. This is rent now, <laughs> these things. So here's, here's the fun part with uh, you know, having a knife like this at home is again, you can do all of these great cuts. You can do some of these butcher cuts. So we're gonna go ahead and get the ribs out of there. That's grandpa's cut right there. I know. He loves that hey, one. Uh, by the way, Alicia mm -hmm. loved the bread, but she said her starter husband, she's laughing, see, in quote, she knows that I, when I joke, which I love, uh -huh. he's a chef and he uh, loves, cute, uh, loves Cuisinart where he works and he's a, oh, he's a professional chef. Beautiful. Dude, so, oh, that's fun. So don't look at this as just, oh, I'll do the holiday ham. I'll, you know, do the prime rib. I'm telling you, day in and day out, whether it's your pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. whether it's your sandwiches, whether it is your bread for, you know, sectioning out your French toast, if it's carving that chicken, if it's cutting the tomatoes, if it's going through a solid avocado pit, I'm telling you, brilliant. Now, what Mark's gonna do next is something that really impresses me because, to be honest, Raw meat is a lot harder to cut properly than cooked meat. Exactly. It really is, at least for me. And all I'm really doing is just kind of holding this in place. And that's it, just letting it roll around. And what's fun about this, you want to talk about even going from, a, you know, soup to nuts to meats to desserts. Now you go ahead and you fill this with asparagus and cream cheese, wrap it up, put a little bit of bacon in there, and you are really good to go. But hey, Shannon... And by the way, Mark, can we show... Uh oh what are we doing here? Okay, Director Mark, not Mark. Okay, look at Here's my team. Here's my homie, here's my peep, here's Victoria. Oh, we got a little sandwich Renee, there. like, ran. <laughs> he, <laughs> Renee doesn't do TV. You know, <laughs> he's like, oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't do TV. Uh -oh. I know. We, so. We've got an upside-down sandwich. Boom, there we go. <laughs> and here's what's cool about this. Through the bread, through the lettuce, through the meat, through the veggies, it makes no difference at all. This cut, watch this, Shannon, is going to be restaurant quality. These are the kind of, uh, of cuts that people who Precise make cookbooks cuts. look for. Yeah. And we're going to go from here to a dessert that's gonna blow wow. your mind. Can I just point out, and I don't know if we can, um, you know, look, you know, if we can peel back her garters or not, but what Mark has in that sandwich was literally <laughs> meat-tastic. Now, I don't know about you, but again, I got arthritis. I have a hard time slicing through thin deli meat. Yes. This is like, it's, it's like a chunk of meat. The weight of the knife? in right. almost every instance will take care of the cut for you. It will. No pressure, that's what the 130 watts is gonna do for you. And this kind of odd little demonstration that we do sometimes is really gonna show you that okay. ice cream's hard as a rock. If you've ever yeah, tried to no, cut through right. ice cream, it's not gonna happen. You're right. So if you've never thought of using an electric knife to make an ice cream dessert, watch this. Take the bottom part off of a pint of your favorite ice cream, and then all you're gonna do, guys, that's 130 watts, <gasps> it doesn't care if it's frozen. Holy you're gonna cut right cow. through that. Oh, Good it gets better. Goodness. Watch this, Shannon. So Gracious. I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna make a little cut right there. Okay. And then when you want to have the most fun in the oh. summertime with homemade everything, grab that little guy and go, wee! There you go. And you've got oh. the perfect homemade ice cream sandwich that is just big enough for Ooh. two. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, Isn't this is th this is crazy. I mean, and the fact this is when I tell you rock hard, mm. rock hard. Mm -mm. I mean, honestly, you know very well. You know, Mr. Jerry, Mr. Ben, they got nothing on this knife. <laughs> and here's the problem, though, Rick. I don't know if they saw a quantity left or not. And that's not to be alarmist, because you're always welcome to shop seven days a week, 24 hours a day here at HSN. But because I shop with you when I'm at home, I do like to know when something is really limited. Uh, and at this point, we have a couple hundred remaining. Wow. It, you know, it's time to up. Grade and you know it's the knife that all other knives wish they were when they grew up. <laughs> I want to be you when I grow up, Mark Gill. Oh, I love it. You talked about thin slices. Yeah. Well, if you didn't Whoa. think that you could make wafer thin slices with an electric knife, then it's been a while since you've had your hands on a 
Cuisinart electric knife. I can basically see my fingers through that slice, you guys. Oh, that is crazy That's good. what we're talking about when we talk about the control that you get with an, with an electric knife that's made by a company like Cuisinart. Uh, I'm impressed, and you're impressing everybody on Facebook Love. as always, Mark. Everybody on Facebook. <laughs> I like Facebook. That was for you. I know. <laughs> uh, you have a face. You should be there. I should be uh, there. You are. Mark, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Hey, don't hang up on the knife. Remember, we have just a couple hundred of those to go around. Uh, so over 10,000 of our finest value of the day gone. If you want yours, I can't recommend it enough. Remember that David's Cookies, they are back and back with a vengeance. They did this only for us. It's four of their food fan favorites at a never before seen price. Now normally the four components that you get in this kit, and we'll talk about those at the end of the hour, are usually about $25 a piece. They're a little over $8 when you get our best buy of the day. So that's coming up. Uh, also of course, Kelly, come on out here. Kelly's back. Uh, this is something that you and I have aired one other time. Yep. But not at this price. Oh, there's your cobbler. I know, there's my cobbler. I can't wait to eat uh, it. <laughs> by the way, that is, uh, that's the ceramic bakeware yes, that Kelly had last hour. hour. Yep. So we have turned the page to another hour. It is another hour of your kitchen. Currently, it's a one hour show. Tonight, we're, the madness ensues for another hour. We got that look at your today's special in just a few moments. Kelly had the ceramic bakeware that I'd love to remind you about after we're done with this segment. Yes. But right now, we're talking Cuisinart. Yep. When is an oven more than an oven? Yeah. When it's Cuisinart. Yeah. Customer pick, lowest price in America. We were searching other, oh, there's that cobbler. That's your cobbler, um, girl. We were searching other websites, and the starting price is at around $250, yeah, $230. Yep, yep. So it's the lowest price in America. It's for this show. It is $16 and change. Oh, I'm sorry, $36 and change on your credit card, along with free shipping. Remember, everybody can use FlexPay, uh, 615637. And let me just show you this real quickly. Now, Kelly, th this makes me nervous. They really Really are getting the okay. everything you see including what I just removed and what I'm putting in <laughs> okay so yes. you're getting the, your divider racks yep, you're okay. getting the racks. So you can do double layer air frying now right let's tell them what it is first the, okay it's an air fry oven it's yes. an air fry oven yeah Thank there we you. go so I buried the lead no she did she <laughs> I buried so the lead I, I did listen I get it so what it will do is your baking your convection baking your broiling your convection broiling your warmer it toasts up to six slices and it's the best air fryer you'll ever use. It really is. So if you're somebody that's never jumped on the air fry bandwagon because you just quite frankly didn't want another yeah, appliance, true, true, we true. all own a toaster oven. It's time to upgrade, gift that one away if it's still working. Yeah. Right? And a toaster oven is about a hundred bucks. So you're going to pay a little bit more and you're going to get all the features for sure. of like six different appliances, including a toaster that does six slices. Okay. So to just backtrack for a moment and then we'll show you what you yep. get again. Lowest price in America. Anybody can use FlexPay. Yep. A little over $30 on your credit card. Free shipping. Yes, you can bake. Yep. Yes, you can broil. Bake. Yes, you can convection bake. Yes, you can toast. You can use it as a toaster oven. Yep. Yes, you can, you know, slow cook. You can look, put it on lower temperatures as well. Yes, you can broil. But yes, 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 you can also air fry. Now, in addition to the divider racks, you can do that double-decker cooking. Mm -hmm. You are also getting, I guess, what do we call that a dehydrator tray? Is that what you... This here, what I'm doing? Right. My air fry basket. Air fry basket. Air fry basket. Thank yes. you. Yes, and you can dehydrate and in And you this. can dehydrate. Okay. Yeah, you absolutely can. So if you're just jumping on the air fry, you know, bandwagon and you're thinking, okay, should I, shouldn't I? Air frying is basically crisping up your food with superheated air instead of superheated oil. So think about it. Normally you would deep fry these chicken wings or you'd buy them at a bar deep fried, right? Sure. In oil. Guess what? Oil we know is not good for us. Uh, it oh, doesn't wait taste wait a minute, good. that was the sound of that dinner. That was the sound of dinner. <laughs> Oil doesn't taste good. We like the crisp and the crunch that you see on these particular wings, but yeah. guess what? I've used zero oil. Zero, oh, zero oil wow. with these. So you nice. can season them with whatever you would like. We'll just do a little buffalo seasoning. But oh my goodness, they Beautiful. will taste like they came out of the deep fryer, but all I've used was my air fry function on my oven to get the crisp. Absolutely, in fact, uh, we're gonna, I just want you to see the dials and controls real quickly. Um, uh, Anna, those dish, those blades on the knife are dishwasher safe, by the way. Candy, thank you, she's so cute. Uh, Colin, always great to see you. Selene, thank you. I wish the show were two hours every week as well. Uh, Ginny, uh, hello again to Alyssa. Ginny wants to know real quickly, yeah. what is the largest size pan that this oven will accommodate? That's do you a know? great question. Um, I know it'll fit the your... dimensions, but it'll okay. do at least the eight by eight. Right, I absolutely. Believe 
we've done it'll, a nine. It'll do the eight by eight for sure. And yeah. it will also do the a nine, nine inch pie, pie pan. Yeah. So if that kind of helps and it'll do the put it in pizza. perspective. Yeah. So. And then Rick, if you could, maybe we could even call it out the side of the screen. I'd love to know the, dim oh, sorry about that, Mark. Um, he's like, you know, you're getting in my shots. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the profile is small enough. It's obviously a countertop oven, so it's easy to put on a countertop. Yep. But um, unlike a lot of convection ovens, they don't have that big tent at the back. Remember sure. when they first yep. did that? And I this love- a little taller. A little taller. Yep. I love the light. It seems like a little thing, but no, it's, it's not. it's so big. It's Look, big. It goes on or off. Isn't that I genius? I love having that light. Because I'll plate the cobbler in a moment, but last night when I was doing that at 5.30 in the morning, I was opening and closing the door. So it's 15 by 15. Okay, so 15. Fif so, but, but obviously it would accommodate 15 a 9 inches or 10 high. Inch plate. So, yeah. and then, Mark, I don't know if they can see this or if there's a better shot on another oven or not, but all of your functions, it's just kind of like you, 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 you know. Yeah, the dials. You, you just turn the dials. Yeah, so here's yep. your time right here, and this will ding and turn itself off when it's done. Here's your temperature, and it goes all the way up to, from warm to 450, right? So 450 degrees would be your air fry, and then there's your toast. So all the way from warm to 450 and then toast. And then this is the magic. This is the one that activates the different heating elements and the different light, um, fans. Because it will because do... Because it will actually do different functions. Because it, it does different things. We're not just calling this an air fryer right. because there's a fan on the inside. Oh, right, exactly. Right? It's an air fryer because this little thing here, this little tab here, goes from warm to broil to convection broil to toast up to six slices, light, medium, or dark is what you select on this one. Bake, convection bake, this becomes your convection oven. And then when you select air fry, it activates all the fans and all the heating elements on the inside of the oven. So you actually get a different experience you based do. on what you choose or when you select. If you've ever purchased a big oven for your home right. and you were given the option to purchase convection and then they said, okay, that's another $1,500 to $2,000. That's no joke, actually. You don't have to spend that. You're now getting convection in a small toaster oven right. that you do not get with a traditional toaster oven and you're getting a super convection, which is your air fryer. <laughs> you are indeed. And hey, remember, yep. in terms of the size of the pan, and Robert is asking how much weight. Now, uh, I'm assuming that's like a five pound chicken Yes, yeah, so you have a Robert, five pound that, chicken on the inside. If, if so. that helps you kind of like as a ballpark. And we park. did a turkey breast that was about seven pounds before. Right, so, so like a seven yeah. pound tur turkey breast, you know, like a five or a six pound uh, roasting chicken. Yep. Unlike uh, my driver's license, we are not rounding the weight down. Okay. It is. Good point. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> let's do some air fried bacon. Let's, let's. let's. <laughs> so on the inside here, you're getting the tray. Remember, you can do double layer cooking, which you can't do in most air fryers. Right. Your air fry you tray, and I've placed my bacon. So it's say, I don't get like, like smoke and fire and splatter. Oh, not at all. And, nope, not at all. You're not going to get a lot do, of that. You know, like air fryer in a, in a um, uh, bacon and air fryer, you worry about that. Nope. Calling the fire department. No, nope. you don't have to worry about that. This actually has that nice fan on the inside, nice. so it's going to circulate. Good to know. And then you have the trum cray in the bottom, too. So if you get any odor that you feel like is a burning, it's probably a crumb that's fallen to the bottom. Oh, you just point. want to rinse it away. Yep. All right, so when I'm gonna air fry my bacon, I'm gonna go to 450 and I'm gonna select air fry. You don't have to air fry your bacon. You could convection bake your bacon. Right. But it's gonna give you crispy and tender and all of those uh, natural fats that you would normally be ingesting would soak oh. down into the bottom of the bacon. <laughs> Do we have a spoon cam now? What's going on? I know. <laughs> the madness ensues. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, let me get a little black bear caliber. Hey, by the way, and I'm so sorry, now I'm trying to multitask, so I'm thinking a little too much of myself, but uh, Robert said thanks. Um, Lita Joy wants to know, can I can put it on my kitchen counter or on my cabinet, right? Okay, this is where I'm still, right? Oh, are you plating that? Okay, no, yeah, no, you here, wanna, I'll okay, we'll, we'll hands, hands of steel, oh, thank you, Victoria. Um, What's but, the question? No, you can, set, you can set it on your kitchen counter, but not underneath the cabinet. Mine is underneath my cabinet. There's oh a little bump oh, out there here, you go. and you can see there are these little black knobs. They want you to keep it that far away from your backsplash. So there's that black knob. So it, it creates its own bump out. I know it's almost impossible to see. But when you get it home, it's got about an inch and a half bump out that it wants you to keep it away from the backsplash. So okay. that's nice as well. Oh, perfect. So there you go. And that's about an inch and a half, and that stays away. You're not going to put it right up against your backsplash. Right. But mine lives underneath my counter. Uh, excuse me, my cabinet, because my cabinets are tall and I've got a couple of inches of room. So you're okay to do that. Um, there's no. nothing stating that you shouldn't do that. Absolutely. Oh, that cobbler. I know. By the way, it turned oh. out like a cobbler faux brulee because I did not, you know, full disclosure, I did not have baking powder, so I couldn't oh, okay. do the full crumble. 
So I used a little cornstarch with brown sugar and it turned out like a little br uh, brulee crust. It's amazing. I mean, you it. are just, you just go to town. I'm so I'm gonna let that rest for a second, but good. you can see we did a full six pound chicken plus my roasted vegetables on the outside in my toaster oven. Now I doubt that you have a toaster oven that is going to be able to fit a six pound chicken, yeah. but also give you that crispy, crunchy exterior of the skin. You can see how crunchy that's gonna be. It's, but we use convection bake yeah. on this. So you didn't, we did not use air fry on that feature. It's up to you. What do you want to choose? Which function do you want to use? All of the functions you'll find yourself using, including the toast feature. And we'll talk about that because you ever had a toaster that does six slices of toast? And this lets you select from light, medium, or dark toast. It'll do the thick challah bread. It'll do bagels because most bagels don't even fit on the inside of your toaster. So you're going to love Kelly, it for so on her own. Anything. One for you, one for me. Did you make one, one for baby? I know. <laughs> I know, here we go. No. Mm, there you go. Thank you, Victoria. You're killing me. Okay. All right. Let's air, let's keep air frying. Let's let's focus, shall we? No, no, don't uh, focus. No, we're good. Okay. It's more fun this way. Uh, by the way, I think Rick, you told me have, we only have like 400 or something like that. So very, very best price very, in the country. Yes. And read the reviews. By I mean, there are reviews far. of people saying it's changed their lives. The way they cook is so much faster, so much easier. It's true. These are the traditional foods, and I do spring rolls in mine uh, like every other night. Um, and then we did the potato skins, and then we did the fried cheese. So this is stuff you would traditionally deep fry in oil, right? It would sat it would soak up, it would be cumbersome to clean up. Now you can air fry it in your air fry oven. So you're gonna just take the tray, leave it in there, and then pop in your, and this is all stainless steel, dishwasher safe, right? So your stainless steel dishwasher safe air fry basket. Close that. I'm gonna give that about 10 minutes from frozen. I'm gonna go all the way up to 450, and then I'm gonna do air fry, and it activates all the fans, all the heating element, and then here's my, what my favorite little mini feature, the light. Uh, you know what, and that that's is actually such a great big deal. for like people that can't bend over, for they have maybe knee sure, issues. For yep. sure, But what throw, because I, I'm trying to get more into the baking thing, but as you know, what really throws the baking times off is when you, is it done? Is it done yeah, yet? Exactly. Is it done yet? It's so true. Is it done yet? I mean, when, when we try to sneak a peek. Yep. Uh, honestly, we we see you there. We are so super busy. Remember, last look with Crystal Candy on our David's Cookies Today special. Uh, I do just want to remind you, this was done mm -hmm. for this show. Yep. As Kelly pointed out, the lowest price in the country by far, by far, by far, by far. Yep. And in, even on competitors' websites and you know the big you know you know the one that we all yeah. like to yeah, shop they on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, well over $200. So this is the best price that we've even offered. Remember, it is a countertop design, roughly 15 by 15. Oh, look at that pizza. Temperature controls, divider, yeah, so you can do I mean, double-decker cooking, that air fryer basket. It is all in. Pizza. I'm going to give that one or two minutes longer, but I wanted to open it and show you. If you get it just because you're a pizza lover, it gets so hot on the inside of this oven, and it's such a small space. It will give you that wood-fire brick oven pizza experience. No, it really will. Experience. Do you know what? That's what it, smell, it smells like. It smells like that. It, it that does. Interesting? So whoever asked about the pie plate, we have that original nine right. inch pie plate. And then we did a nice, beautiful pie on the inside with that crispy exterior. Yep. We use convection bake. If you're baking, you right. choose between bake or convection bake. If you're baking, I would not choose air fry. Yeah, Obviously that's I, too I, much I, heat. Yes. Um, but I, I do love the fact that if you did pick up our brand new ceramic. Yes. Um, this is that eight by eight casserole square. Your loaf pan will also fit. Your pie plate right. will also fit on the inside. This is the eight by eight. It's a green bean casserole. Right. And uh, yes. so there is now. By the way, oh gosh, do we have one of this the loaf the pans out color. here? Because it's a twofer. Oh shoot, yeah, shoot, Yeah, you do shoot. get a, lo a loaf pan. I with know. This I set. need to. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, poor Victoria. She gets all of her Fitbit steps in whenever yes, she's when, with when me. You're here. She's like, oh, I need this. Yep. So True remember, story. that's actually a set of two. Yep. And one quick thing that Kelly mentioned about the air fry. So normally, if I'm baking or roasting a chicken, yep. there's no reason. Okay, so you bake and roast. Yep. Say what, 45, 50 minutes. I could air fry for like another three or four to get a crispy skin. To get skin. a crispy skin. You there could you do go. that. Oh, this is the eight by eight. We need the loaf okay. one. Yeah. Yes, but perfect. <laughs> She's like, I love this. What Sorry. is this cam called? I know we have fridge cam and Shannon cam. It, Shannon, Shannon cam. cam? Okay. It's like somebody needs to keep a lid on her cam. Uh, so you <laughs> get the, cam. So okay, you get the cam. Very two, And you get a <laughs> loaf pan. That's the eight by eight. You're well. also getting an eight by four loaf right. pan. Okay, yes. perfect. Yeah, uh, our, my and I'm just going to keep bringing out food you and just, I have nowhere you, to put I, it. <laughs> 
Oh, you know why? Because I have an extra um, yeah. a dish tonight. Smith, I'll Smith, take it. I'll knock take it, it off. Quit messing up the demo <laughs> plan here. Uh, let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for holding. Welcome to HSN. It's Shannon and Kelly in your kitchen. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Elaine and I'm in New York City. Oh, Elaine, Hi, Elaine. in New York. Welcome. I have this oven and I love it. Oh, yeah. good. I'm using it right now. Oh. Um, when I first got it, um, I, you know, struggled with some of the functions. Sure. But once I kept using it, I can't live without it now. <laughs> yes, a absolutely. I, I know, and Elaine, isn't it true? It, it sounds like such a, a, a simple thing. When you have an oven that air fries and bakes and roasts and toasts, it kind of makes you look at dinner a whole new way, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the thing about it is it's really the same size as a regular toaster oven. Yep. Yes. Um, it doesn't take up any more space than that. It's just a little bit higher. Yep, oh, good point. That's where the fan is for the air fryer oh, sure. on the top. It's very pretty to look at. Yep. It is. And yet, it's not so high that it doesn't fit under the cabinet. Exactly. Uh, so it takes, it's got the same footprint as most toaster ovens. Yes. Good point. I can't remember the last time I lit my oven. I cook oh, everything in this. Nice. I do too. Yeah. Everything, and, and I have a few hints. Um, you know, the pan, the, the, the basic pan that it comes with, um, it's not that easy to clean. So before I use it, I always line it with foil. Okay. And oh. then it's a snap. There's oh, no good. problem. Good I love too. these. Lips. We yeah. love that. Elaine, it has the been so lovely having you. The air fry basket, um, you know, if you're doing like something where you've put a lot of, um, um, like, I don't know, something on it. What I do with the air fry basket is before I put my food on it, I will spray it with a nonstick spray. Okay. Oh, great. nice tip. Yeah. Because, Elaine, I thank, thank you. you. Boy, I, I'm going to add, you, see, I'm out of a job now. But, yeah, right? Uh, she was Elaine, great. Great call. It's great, so true, though. Great point. Hey, by the way, um, when Kelly was referring to feed the baby, she would be referring to her own. Oh, yes. Was I, did they <laughs> think I was calling yeah, you a baby? I, I, no, I am sans baby. Oh, no, sorry. But I live vicariously one, through the not. parenting <laughs> skills of others. Are we getting uh, comments that you're pregnant? Uh, uh, well, they, they, I think, well, I, you know. Sorry, I didn't mean to start no. a rumor. <laughs> exactly, I'm like. But oh, it's kind of fun. Oh, although I am watching uh, Connie's little guy on Thursday. Oh, Can that's I tell great. you how nervous oh, I am? Oh, that's amazing. I'm like nervous. It's like worse than auditioning oh, for amazing. a date or for a job. I'm like, what am I doing with Buzzy? Oh, what are we gonna play? Oh, this uh, how am I gonna have this one some fried cheese you in know, your that's air what I fry said. I'm like, oven. Yeah, exactly, I could. I happen to know they use an air fryer quite frequently, <laughs> exactly. so you're good. Hey, uh, by the way, and Candy, thank you again. Uh, great to see you guys. Robert had a question. Do you need oil sp uh, sprayed for, for air frying? I Absolutely mean, not. Yeah. You're going to get the crisp based on that convection, that super convection. If you like the flavor of oil, you can give it a spritz or a spray. We also offer spray herbs here at HSN. Right. And you can try those because they have that herb flavor. You mm. can see I just oh, did my roast chicken. Home. Moist, that is. As we were chatting, I oh, just revealed nice. like so much food. I did my roast chicken and I sliced oh, into good. it. I revealed mm. my, oh, look at how beautiful that chicken looks. What a great shot. That's good. Because it's moist, it's juicy, it's tender. I did my margarita pizza and that was about 10 minutes and that recipe comes included mm. to you. Wow, that is and good. And then we have to point out, these mm. are Coach Joe's, the shrimp burgers. Mm. And I had one of these during Marlowe's show earlier and they're to die for. So if you like Coach Joe's wings, you gotta try his shrimp burgers and they are decadent. They really Air are. Air fried, look at how crispy we got these. And you know, I no think, oil. Elaine, by the way, we thank you so much for that call again. And I, I think a couple of things. First and foremost, it's a Cuisinart. Yes. It's the lowest price Three in America. Three-year warranty. Three-year yep. warranty, lowest price in America by far. Most of us, space, real estate in our kitchen, it's, I mean, that's, it's a tough job sure. to make the cut. Yep. And what's nice about this is kind of, oh, Mark, I'm just, I'm making your life harder than it has to be tonight. I apologize. But Elaine said too, because of that small profile, yeah. 
it really is valuable real estate. Yep. It, it takes up no more room than your toaster oven, but you rip, bake, you roast, you slow cook, it becomes oh, a pizza it's, it's oven. Oh, and six slices of toast we haven't even touched on, That's and true. I know we don't have time, yeah. um, because we just revealed our bacon, all my air fry goodies right here. Nice. But six Done slices, with no oil. No oil, with so whoever no asks, oil. yes, no oil. And then six slices of toast at a time, and then you can choose from light, medium, or dark toast as well, which oh, I yeah. like, because I like a dark toast. Yeah, me too. And it's a very dark too. toast, so yeah. you'll play with that and see how you like it to your liking. But it is going to replace so many it appliances really will. in the kitchen. Well, and what I love too is not only is this easy, the big thing for me is if you cook like I do, and I, you know, we're all cut from the same cloth, I, I really like to start something like I'll, I'll roast, or, you know, I'll bake for like 350, but then I want that bubbling, Crisp. crispy cheese and on top of the it. mac and yep. cheese. And then with just the simple turn of the dial, that's what you could do. You could literally like air fry the top of your macaroni and cheese yeah. after you've baked it, you know. There's also a convection broil feature, and I've oh. never seen in an oven with convection broil. On something that this means size? it activates just the top heating oh, element no and the top fan. So based on what you choose up here, that's the results you're gonna get. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'd, I I'd mean, get it for that. When people rave about it, and I don't often say things change your life, yeah. but I mean some of those reviews say that they're like it changed the way I cook, yeah, it makes for sure. my life easier, everything's Dinner's faster, dinner's ready, it shuts itself off. It does. My big oven doesn't do that. No, it doesn't. No. I don't shut off. <laughs> this is true. Ever. But that's why, we that's love why you. I'm so tired. <laughs> and she's not pregnant. Oh that I know of. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will borrow that baby, either one of them, at any time. Listen, though. let me know how it goes I'm with Fuzzy, I'm and then you might. Babysitter. I believe I really that. Am. I'm a good babysitter. Okay, okay I'm eating this. <laughs> Well, it is your last look, your last look at our finest value of the day. So um, that is going to be coming up in just moments. We are still Facebook and live. And you know what? I needed a partner in crime. Victoria! <laughs> My partner in crime, we were up to no good in the HSN kitchen, and I'm like, you guys are paying me for this? Uh, honestly, I love her, you know, I talk about her all the time, and uh, she was she was texting me at 5.30 this morning, actually helping me go through some recipes. Yes, I heart her all day long, and you're gonna see her, uh, well, both she and I, talking about cutlery and, you know, what knife to use for what, and, you know, honestly, hopefully you'll have some fun with it, but also, I think you'll learn a little something, too. So, we, that is now going to be posted, I think on both HSN's Facebook and my Facebook, I'm pretty sure. You know, Facebook all day. <laughs> David's cookies all day. Well, not, not anymore, because dinner's done. Ready for dessert? I am. David's cookies next. Yummy. goat milk because we had it and that's how our company started but what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is not only for the skin but for your body goat milk adds moisture to your skin it's really the most amazing ingredient people really do notice the hydration of their skin the farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802 about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now and make monthly payments without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom, a fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding, and a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now without the stress of having to pay for it all at once. And no interest. Beat that layaway.
Okay, don't say we didn't warn you. Two years in the making. Now, you know, wait a minute, you're saying, David's cookies, I've loved those. Where did they go? Well, it took two years for us to get them back, and boy, they got some splaining to do. When they came back, they stepped up to the plate. So let me come over here and just show you what you get, and then we're gonna feed everybody, we're gonna feed the crew. I'll tell you, our entire team has been waiting for this moment, because now, the buffet is open, because I try to keep everything reserved for the last show. This is it, final opportunity. Who is David's Cookies? They are revered across America. They've been going strong when it comes to culinary, confectionaries, baked goods, all handmade, all made to order, all hand-baked, all hand-sifted. The kind of love and care and effort that you would go in into if you had the skill level, the time, or the money in your kitchen. They made this just for us. It is done after this hour. Price is good until midnight or as long as supplies last, but this is it for the year. So since 1979, they've been doing amazing things in your kitchen. They make you look like a superhero because you can say that you made it yourself because you warm it up. That counts. So here's what you're getting. First and foremost, you're getting what I call this Tawa of Pawa. So this has got a lot of girth to it because these are real food, real ingredients, not faux glido sorbate something, zorba talba, whatever. It's real stuff. It's free shipping. It's $16.98. Now, shipped and made to order. Each one is individually sealed, so you don't have to worry about that. These happen to be the cookies. If you're getting, say, the brownies, then they'll come with their own baking rack, and they will also come individually sealed in their own plastic uh, cellophane wrapper. Um, in addition, you get HSN's number one cookie of all time, the pecan meltaways. They've been called Mexican uh, wedding cookies, tea cakes, you know, a lot of different things. Uh, we happen to call them pecan meltaways, a nut in every single bite. Really, this was love at first bite for me. I started with the coffee cake. I mean, I know a lot of you did. So that beautiful coffee crumb cake. That is also included with your purchase. Pecan meltaways would normally be $25. Crumb cake, coffee cake would be another $25. You get 18 of the enrobed brownies. They have their own little tuxedo. Look at how fancy they are. So you get 18 of those luscious, decadent, they make you purr like a cat. Those are $25 on their own. And then... This is actually the place where the cheesecake brownies started. They are cheesecake brownies. And I got to show you this real quickly. Sorry, Crystal, I don't want to mess up uh, Crystal's spot, but I want you to see this because we are still Facebooking live. And Mark, let me, thank you. Let me just get in here. This is not, a, oh, we grabbed a certain one. Every single bite is ooey, gooey, moist, almost fudge-like in a way, but not so dense that you're like, oh, I'm full. Uh, it's just, it's it's honestly, it's it's like alchemy. It's like food alchemy. So that's the cheesecake brownie started off exclusively here at HSN. A full tray is also included with your purchase. That's about $25. As long as I'm here, Mark, you know, I'll make it easy for everybody else. Look at, look at how fast I was. Even on these pecan meltaways, it's so crazy because I don't even get nervous. Every single one that I unveil, has uh, has pecans. I mean, it's not even like you're searching for those pecans. And then as long as I'm having some fun, he, on this, it's kind of like have cake with your crumb or vice versa. Nobody does a level of buttery richness like this. And if you're like the kind of person who used to pick around the edges of the pan so that you get the crumb, this is the kind of coffee cake, crumb cake that they sell at those coffee shops for like five and six dollars a piece. And then just because I don't want him or her to get jealous, the enrobed brownie. This is what I actually used for the recipe of the week that I'll be showing you uh, a little bit later on the show. Ooey gooey, moist and delicious, 18 of those. $8.50 a piece in your purchase. So what's crazy is normally $25, it's $8.49. Coffee cake, normally it's $25, it's $8.49. Pecan meltaways, normally $25. $8.49. And then the enrobed brownie, normally about $23, $24, $25, $8.49 on your credit card. Last show, and one final thing, it is available in a very limited amount on uh, auto ship. Now, auto ship, chocolate takes a vacation in the summer, but other than that, four times a year quarterly, it's the same configuration, meaning you secure that same outrageously good value. Doesn't obligate, I mean, you can you can actually skip a shipment, and really, I mean, you're in complete control. You still get the free shipping and that incredible configuration, but we do it seasonally around certain big eating times of the year. We're Facebooking live for another 20 minutes. We'd love to hear from you via 
phone. Crystal Candy is back. She is as sweet as her name suggests. I and try. Uh, <laughs> honestly, Crystal, I have to say, first of all, people are, are so happy to see you. They're so oh, happy to have David's so cookies happy back. To be back. It's a big deal that David's come David's cookies did this for us. This is exciting because David's is saying thank you. Thank you for being a loyal customer. We missed you. We're back. The cheesecake brownie, as Shannon showed you earlier. <laughs> There is not one piece of this that's gonna be a bad bite. You know why? Because we use pure melted down chocolate for the brownie base. We don't use any mixes at David's. So when you see every single square, every single nibble of that brownie is going to be that beautiful, moist, delicious brownie that I'm telling you, you can cut these up in smaller pieces, but you may find yourself really digging uh, uh, in for the you, big piece. You, you probably will. Okay, quick questions. Yes. Uh, Robert is asking, can you freeze them for Easter because they might not last otherwise? Thank you, Robert. Okay. Do put them in the freezer. Maybe out of sight, out of mind might help, but yes, you can freeze them for up to six months, actually. And when you put the enrobed, I'm gonna show you the enrobed right now. When you put the enrobed in the freezer, my oldest son actually likes to eat them. Isaac likes to eat them right out of the freezer because they almost taste like a crunchy little ice cream sandwich. So the enrobed are really special and you can see inside it is that same delicious ooey goodness. But the beauty of it is you have that beautiful chocolate shell on the outside that gives you just a little bit of a crunch. So all the way around these are wrapped in chocolate. They are really special. And if you look down here, you're getting 18 of these. So 18, gosh, these look exactly like those expensive chocolates uh, that you buy yes, in the foil. Oh my do. goodness. And they taste just Okay, they are good. decadent. So here's the thing. And uh, Rick, if I could show the if purchased separately just real quickly. I know I was kind of detailing everything for you. This is a blockbuster bonanza, doesn't make sense deal. I, uh, as a lot of you know, I love to cook. I'm starting to delve with baking, but the ingredients would cost you more than the $8.49 on any one of these recipes. So the cheesecake brownies started at HSN, $25. The frosted or the enrobed brownies started at $25. The uh, most popular cookie or food item ever in HSN history, the pecan meltaways, $25. The crumb cake, the coffee cake, $23. Uh, honestly, I think for anyone out there, even if you're thinking of freezing these, and again, Crystal, once more, the, if you freeze them, you don't have to freeze them in the box, but you could. There's no you special can. care requirements. I but actually took the cookies out. Okay. Of the box. Of the box. But I kept the brownies and the crumb cake in the trays. Okay. Because you can slide those right. But again, three months or the window of time again. So six months in the six freezer. Six months in the freezer. So the difference that you're thinking of the three months, that's the pecan melt. There we go. Yes. Okay. Good thank job. you. So these are that butter based eggless cookie that you can have out at room temperature. And like Shannon said, every bite is going to give you those beautiful roasted pecans. We use pure butter. Again, we don't use mixes. We used to make these growing up. This was the one thing that my sister and I would get that cookbook out. I almost said the name of the cookbook. It's that red cookbook. Do you remember it? Yes, <laughs> I do. I have one. My mom still has it and it has all the, you know, the, the different baking things that have gotten on the pages over the years. We call these uh, tea cakes. Some of you call them Right. A wedding cake oh, as well. Yes. But it's that melt in your mouth goodness. Remember, we use those roasted pecans, pure butter. Oh man. We use baked from real scratch ingredients. ingredients. Real Thank ingredients. You. All right, I'm gonna start serving people. I okay. wish I wish we had I wish the Shannon Cam could follow me into the makeup room because here's what happens. Oh, you're going to the makeup room? Uh, uh, okay, can you all right? Okay. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna serve you guys. Look at I'm tearing apart. What are you bring Look at I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, do the I'm for doing sure. this. Okay. Some, some, uh, these. Here, let me give you some. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, We're gonna start be serving people. <laughs> All right. So this is for you. I shouldn't let you know though. We have hundreds of you joining us. At this point though, it's every man and woman for themselves. So here's what Crystal was talking about. Now, again, these aren't stunt brownies. <laughs> They're not stunt cookies. <laughs> Everyone is luscious. Now I'm using a knife just for to make it look a little prettier because then we can serve everybody on the crew. But when you see how moist and decadent, I mean, look at that. That's not, that looks like fudge. 
I mean, that looks like fudge. That is that so, pure melted No, look at, I mean, chocolate. honestly, here's one other thing. Do you notice there are very few crumbs? That tells you it's almost fudge-like or, or fudge cake consistency. So you really, and, and when I said earlier, I, I, it really wasn't a joke. These aren't stunt brownies. They aren't stunt cookies. It's not like they specially treat one or, you know, I'm only grabbing one, you know, because it's this is a better one. So there's that. Now you're in room brownie. They get nervous when I'm around cutlery. Victoria's like, I've seen you in the kitchen with cutlery. The band-aids are on standby. But again, you can see, now here again is that, do you see how nice and dense that is? That's another thing that I personally look for in baked goods. Because Crystal, isn't it true? Like if people are using cheaper ingredients, sometimes they whip like air into them and there's like a lot of fillers, pieces, parts, kind of. Well, if you think about the brownie mixes that we get from the store, they want you to add water. And, and there's the mixes, we don't use any mixes at David's. So that beautiful brownie goodness that you're seeing over there with Shannon, that mm. is the same goodness that you're going to have with the chocolate mm. enrobed brownies. And that beautiful coating of chocolate on the outside gives Can you I that purr? little crunch. Cr little crunch. <laughs> I didn't know you spoke cat. This I do, actually. I used to talk. It's like, meow. <laughs> Only thing missing oh is God. the milk, folks. Hey, we got milk right here. Oh, I should have known. guess what? <laughs> we use whole ingredients at David's, and we happen to have some right on the table. Uh, we do, indeed. <laughs> uh, you know, we like to have fun, but, you know, the truth of the matter is when, when you've got the right product, the right ingredients, certainly the right price, it can be a lot of fun. And this is a crowd pleaser. It is certainly a fan favorite. We will not see the likes of this again this year. Mona, thank you. By the way, you made my night. Sometimes Aww. I know. There, uh, there, there is one Shannon and never the twain shall meet. We've got other Smiths on the air. We got our shans on the air. Let's be honest. You're I'm one of a kind. I'm girl. something else. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy that if, if we can entertain you and, and have you learn something and have some fun at the same time, that's always the overall goal here. And I think the big thing for me is even if you, I'm not saying I'm a great baker. I think I'm a pretty good cook. I'm certainly no chef. I, you know, my mom's a better, ba you know, my mom's the baker in the family. So even, you know, from a, the family, oh, there, oh, thank you. See, no, James, be I love careful that. with that. He's, okay. He's like, yeah, keep her away from the knife. But even if you are good in the kitchen, you know, my mom's busy, you're busy. Isn't it nice yes. to know you are giving, making, baking, because if you warm them up slightly, I like them warmed up slightly, these are homemade. These are homemade. So you're bringing homemade brownies to Bunko Night. You're bringing homemade brownies, you know, to, to PTA. You're bringing homemade brownies, you know, to, to the Girl Scout troops. I mean, you, these, these are homemade treats. And that's why you really might want to consider that auto ship option. Now, remember, the, the, the obligation is really on us. You can skip deliveries. We, we do give chocolate a vacation during the summer months for obvious reasons. But you will secure the, the configuration that you see on your screen, meaning the food fan favorite. Favorites. So crumb cake, you know, normally $25. It's $8.49 in the set. Pecan meltaways, normally $25. It's $8.49 in the set. Enrobed brownies, the brownie that will make you purr like a cat. Come on. I want to hear it. <laughs> he's like, uh, no. He's got, he's got he's, nothing. <laughs> he's like, no, I am, I'm not purring like a cat. Uh, and then, of course, our cheesecake brownie as well. And that one originated here at HSN. Normally, that's about $25. And it's $8.49 here at, well, for this show and for this hour. Uh, big thing that you need to be aware of, of course, we welcome you here. I hope you can join me every Monday at 8 o'clock. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it becomes a two-hour show. Even still, you are the most important part of this broadcast. We, we so listen to you and we so value you. You're always welcome to shop seven days a week, you know, 24 hours a day. However, when it is a today's special, and if it's piquing your interest at all, if, it, if we are tempting your taste buds and you're saying, gosh, I, you know what? I'm a brownie fan. I want to just try the brownies. Or I'm, a, I'm a coffee cake fan, so I'm a big, big fan of the coffee cake and the pecan meltaways. Yeah. You can afford to be generous. You would spend more on the ingredients. And at the end of the day, Crystal, this is not one of those also ran items. When you no. go to the grocery store, you don't know what they made it with. You don't know how it's long it's been on the shelf. You just... You just, you just don't know. These are baked from scratch they are baked right from in scratch. our bakery. I'm holding, this is almost six pounds of baked goodness 
from scratch delivered right to your door. And maybe you aren't a pecan melts away person. Maybe you just want to give the pecan melts aways to your son's class for Valentine's Day because he didn't tell you until the day before that you <laughs> needed to bake cookies. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, guess what? David saved me, and I had 32 pecan melt aways, so he had a few extra for the See, teachers, exactly. which you've got to always take care Making of Making brownie teachers, points. Right. I brought parfaits to my host review today. I'm, I'm not saying it, it, it helped, but it sure what didn't hurt. Butter. It, it, it's true. So, uh, Mona, I apologize. Let me, let me show you the configuration again. And in, in case there was any confusion, just to be clear, as you move forward with AutoShip, it is this configuration, meaning you, you, you get your food fan favorites uh, on a, a seasonal rotation or a quarterly rotation. So you'll get, the, you'll, you, as you move forward, you still get your coffee cake. You know, instead of $25, it's $8.49. As you move forward with your next auto ship you're still getting your pecan meltaways number one cookie here at hsn but it's not 25 dollars; it's eight dollars and 49 cents as you move forward with auto ship and remember you can customize delivery you can skip a shipment if you'd like the enrobed brownies uh, as you move forward with auto ship included but not 25 dollars eight dollars and 49 cents and then of course the cheesecake brownie you get it with your auto ship as well but we don't raise the price back to 25 dollars you get it for for eight dollars and forty nine cents on uh, you know basically a piece oh brian you are there my friend brian is there i love brian he's such a great guy uh mona i hope that answers your question uh, sorry if it was a little clear as mud earlier but hopefully that <laughs> clears things up but what you do need to be clear on it, it, david's cookies when i said they are famous in america they're an american icon no one does baked goods like david's cookies and, unless it was yourself you know when we say bake, it'll take a little time and it, a lot of skill yeah yeah, because it's so funny, Crystal, when we first started doing um, David's Cookies here, and again, this was two years in the making, we, we were dying to get them back for you. I, because I was, I was kind of like a bakery snob. Because like I said, my mom's a good cook. She's, she's a great baker. I'm like, oh, sure. you know, Pat can do Can't be that. Yeah, right, you know, <laughs> I, I swear to you, I mean, mom, you know, I love you. She's watching in, in snow-covered Minnesota. Yes, mom still has a little extra love, but this is like loving from the oven. It is, you know, yummy, home-baked goodness. And it is baked and, and fresh, you know, to order for you. So I just, I hope that you can try it. Now, here's one quick question, and, and Rick, just correct me, you know, over the loudspeakers if you need to. Uh, when we did Facebook Live last hour, and I apologize, I missed the name, someone was asking, now surely you don't get a 30-day money-back guarantee with food. You do. You do. And so, again, you, you pay for the shipping on, on the return, but we print the return labels. Now, I'm speaking of my mom's experience because I, I sent her a food product that sadly was frozen solid <laughs> by the time it arrived in Minnesota. So she had to, you know, you know, send it back. So, and Rick, I'm, 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 I'm not telling tales out of turn. I'm, I'm, I'm good and golden, right? So, so he's saying, yes, I am. He said you were golden. Yeah, I am, lovely. I am golden. So Mark and the whole team is saying like, yeah, no, we do print the return label. So you have that added level wow. of comfort, if you will. So squeeze, caress, <laughs> and eat at your leisure. You'll never regret it. You won't. You won't. I was just showing you a little bit. You know, we're talking about hostess hacks or being that hostess hero. The fact that over here by the brownies, you can cut these up. And Shannon, you did it yeah. beautifully with that giant I scary was being knife. Very, I was very, but you know what? I'm going to be can, messy. This is about 16 yeah. servings. If you do pedophores, you can do servings. well over 20. So if you're hosting any kind of gathering, all you need is a knife. and just. Bill Duggan is watching. Okay. Bill Duggan is Facebooking live. Bill, we've got some I for you. Come on you, down. I love you, Bill Duggan. <laughs> Here's a brownie just for you. Oh, wait. <gasps> Bill Duggan! Oh, Come on yeah, out here! here. <laughs> <laughs> you got my secret message. My boo. Did you send out a signal? No, I know you don't want the nuns and touch by my hands. <clears throat> so I okay. will allow you please, to please. Please. at your I'm leisure. I'm so glad David's back. I love you, Bill I'll Duggan. Take a one. I just want Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Good to see love you. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always a good sugar day up. He's got electronics by. coming up, right? It's electronics. <laughs> see, other networks are, are fueled by electricity. We are powered by sugar and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that it might as well be the truth. <laughs> it's true. And we didn't give him any of this crumb cake, but I think it'd be a little messy, but that's okay. Because yeah. with our beautiful crumb cake, that pound cake base, and check out all of this cinnamon sugar on the top. This is, nice? is everything. 
at the bakery, they actually hand sift and apply it to just to get the they right size. They hand apply it to get yes. the right size. And that's why we say handmade, hand drizzle. It's like their own little tuxedos. They are enrobed in that beautiful chocolate. Ingredients that you can pronounce, not Zia, Zansa, Zorba, Tala. I never heard of it. You know, what's that? It's all the stuff that you put in your kitchen. It's all the stuff that you want for your kids, for your grandkids, and all of that and so much more. And oh, hey, just uh, Crystal, I don't know yeah. if you found this, but a quick tip for me, if you want to section out the coffee cake, sometimes I will freeze it or, or put it in the freezer just enough, to, you know, to, to give it a little more structure. That is a good tip. And then I slice With it. Things that are soft, like are, and yeah. Are or brownies or cakes or things like that. Yeah. Yeah, because then you can share with the class. And that is a good tip because when you have this big crumb cake, although it's going to be hard, at a... <laughs> going to be hard not to eat. <laughs> I'm thinking exactly. pedophores. I'm thinking, does anyone really want a pedophore of this? I think maybe oh, you want to get man. on in there. But if you're hosting something where you yeah. want little bites. Hands down my favorite. You can do so many pieces it, with this. You can. And oh. you know, every bite is decadent. Every bite is delicious. And you know, the truth of the matter is you... <sighs> I, I, it, it really eliminates a little bit of the guilt factor. And I'll tell you why, because one of the things that I do when I cook, I, I do use, I, I use real butter. You know, I don't use the fake stuff. I use, you know, real oil. I just, I, you know, unless I'm doing air frying. So to me, there's less guilt associated when you get it back to what God intended, to the natural products, to the natural ingredients. And, and so, yeah, to some degree, it eliminates the guilt factor. And I know I said this earlier, but trust me, if you have not tried David's cookies, you, you don't, that's why you definitely need to try it. But you have a little dabble, do you? These are so full of flavor and saturated with just mind-altering explosion of, 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 of ingredients and decadence. You know, a little bite will really do you. But remember, this offer is done after this show. In fact, I think, who's coming on uh, host-wise with me? I know they've got electronics after this. Brett. Oh, Brett! Okay, now, Brett needs some sugar, too. Okay, we need, we, everybody needs sugar tonight. Uh, but more importantly, you need this kind of value. So remember again, normally $25, it's $8.49 in the set. Pecan meltaways, normally about $23, $24. Uh, thing. Oh, do I, do, you had brownie on I, you. I, had, <laughs> I was going to wipe it off. I was school. making brownie eyes at Crystal. She, see, that's a good girlfriend. Okay. You need a good girlfriend who, t who will tell you you have toilet paper stuck Let on your see shoe. Your teeth. I don't have good teeth. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, instead of $25 on the enrobed brownies, it's $8.49. Instead of $25 on the cheesecake brownie, it is... I think uh, you would try to eat the brownie I with your did. face. I <laughs> did. <laughs> All right. Well, we got time for a really quick call. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for holding. Welcome into your kitchen. It's Shannon and Crystal. Uh, who, uh, what is your name and where are you calling from, please? Hi. My name is Debbie. Oh, hi there, Debbie. Where are you calling from? New Mexico. Oh, oh. New Mexico. Well, Debbie, welcome to the show. Are you shopping for our today's special? Actually, I, I'm calling for the Cuisinart. Oh, you are. Well, hey, Debbie, not to spend your money for you, but Debbie, you could actually you? you could warm the crumb cakes in your Cuisinart, Debbie. I know I have I love 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 it. It's beautiful. I use I I just received it the other day and I love it. I'm going to do wedding cake. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Well, Debbie, we thank you so much for sharing the love. Uh, we, we love having all of our food fans out there. Uh, but Debbie makes an excellent point. The Cuisinart, first of all, is still available. But I think, Rick, you said last 400. Oh, sorry, there are only 150 Ooh. of that oven. So maybe we could even do like a little reminder of things. We'll work. Oh, in fact, you know what, Crystal? Can I show that to everybody? Of course. Uh, on, the, um, uh, on the crumb cake and then on the brownie. Oh, do I have one in the little... Uh, it's, in a, it's in a bakeable pan. Would you like... Is, oh, yeah, here, I'll okay. work on that for you. You know, look at me. I'll work on that. Why, why I don't defer to the experts immediately <laughs> is beyond me. Helpful. I appreciate you being helpful. I know, but you do get a bakeable aluminum foil pan that you can put in your yes, oven. Yes, now so. these are coming to you 
baked from scratch. Right. Now, if you are like Shannon and I, you want to warm it up, you absolutely can do that. Here we go. So this is what you were looking for right there here. There you go. Thank there. you, my friend. So it's going to come like this. So if you want to take it out of the package and put it in your freezer, your fridge, you can absolutely do that. On all of our packaging, it actually is going to remind you of the care instructions yes. and the handling Good instructions. Point. Because I can't remember my password to all of the password that I changed it yesterday. I can't remember what I got. Uh, so we're going to remind you gently. You and me both. But it is last call, final chance. This was your final airing. Thank you again for Facebooking. Ginny, you're right. My mom got 15 inches of snow. Oh, uh, but if you got cabin fever, you definitely want a brownie to help get you through it. Crystal, awesome to have you, you back. You are a delight as always. <laughs> I'm a ray of something. <laughs> Thank you. You are such a doll. We love you, Crystal. All right. Don't move that table too far. I have a feeling I'm going to be <laughs> double dipping right after this. Hey, uh, if you want the Cuisinart oven, though, this is what Debbie was talking about. And uh, sad truth is we have only 150 of them. That price is only good as long as supplies last. And, of course, you can warm up your David's Cookies. All right. We're going to warm you up with a little David's Cookies brownie-inspired dessert just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Of course, our recipe of the week or my recipe of the, the week is a brownie inspired so you get the enrolled brownies what we did is we broke them apart I use pistachio instant pudding a little whip topping and then layered it you know your favorite sandwich mint cookie for garnish then I made Mark can I grab this real quick because I am all about my crew and I'm all about you I also made little mini parfaits so that's a fun little party idea um, I'll be posting that you'll also see it on HSN's Pinterest a scalloped uh, potato recipe and more to come on Facebook thanks for shopping everybody I'll see you next week Hi, everybody.